What's up, and all? Welcome into another lesson. Today we are going to be looking at accents and taps, simply loud notes and quiet notes. Things like this. Now, to be able to do that, we need to be able to understand the four basic stroke types on drums. So stroke just means a movement, hitting a drum, well, there's four that you need to know. So let's talk about them. First up, we've got the full stroke. Now the full stroke is where the stick starts in the air, it hits the drum, and it comes all the way back to where it started again. So it's a full motion of the stick, like that. So first of all, have a go at hitting your drum or your practice pad, getting a full turn of the stick like this. Doesn't matter what technique, if you're using left hand, same thing, just all the way back, full strokes. The second stroke, this is one of the more difficult ones. We're gonna hit the drum, and then the second that stick comes back off the drum, we're gonna stop the stick. Now to stop it, we can kind of grab the stick, but we don't really like tension when we're playing a drum because tension can cause injury, can make us play slower. So we wanna get, use our fingers a little bit like springs. So all we do is as the stick hits the drum, we just don't let those fingers open up. When I do the normal one, the fingers have to open, back, open up. Look. So with this one, we just don't let it open. Now what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and stop the stick quite close to the head, maybe one inch off of the head. It's quite difficult. When you first try it, you're gonna find you probably do this naturally. So let's try with the left hand. So now make sure that you always go back to the starting position. So we start up here, we hit, we stop really low. Then we don't, we don't swing from there, we go to the starting position, and then we try it again. Back to the starting position, try it again. Back to the starting position, try it again. So we start up in the air, end down low, that's your downstroke. The next one's quite easy, the next one's called a tap, or taps, as they sound, we just tap the drum. So we start about an inch off the head, and we just tap the drum from there, maybe playing one inch taps, or we lift up to three inches and play three inch taps. But either way, we're starting low and ending low. Now the final one is called the upstroke. So the upstroke, we tap the drum, but then what we do is we let the stick recoil back to where it started from. So we go, now to get the stick to come up fast, we've got to kind of pull the stick back a little bit, a bit of a whip. Now in the more advanced motions, your mobile and things like that, you'll use a slightly different motion. With this, we're just using a basic lift of the wrist to get the stick back. Now I like to think of it as this being kind of a hot plate, this being the end of my finger, and I kind of touch it and then, well that was hot, so I quickly pull it back. That kind of motion there. Now what we don't want is a massive noise, because we want it to remember, we want it to be a tap and then come up. So left hand, a little tap, and end up in the air. So, four stroke types, full stroke, downstroke, tap, upstroke. Left hand, full stroke, downstroke, tap, upstroke. They're crucial to be able to play accents and taps. So accents and taps, as the word might suggest, is accentuated notes and quiet notes. Now, if we think of our volumes that we use, the piano, the uh, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte, double forte, for this, we're basically gonna be going from forte, or maybe even double forte, all the way down to taps. So when I play that, one loud to three quiets, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Well, those motions that I was just, just taught you, those stroke types are involved in that. So let's break it down to stroke types now. First one's gonna be a downstroke, then I'm gonna tap twice, then I'm going to do an upstroke. Downstroke, tap twice, upstroke. One, two, three, four. And everything, apart from the one, is loud. It's quiet, even. So the exercise, the accent tap exercise we're going to do, real simple, four times each time we play with each hand, and the first one's fours, so we get this. So second one, third one, fourth one, first one, second one, third one, fourth one. Now we need a prep stroke. Prep stroke is where you prepare to hit the drum when we switch hands. So the last one of the right will go one, two, three, four. So there's no upstroke on that one because this needs to stay low, but it, the upstroke switches to the other hand to allow it to be prepared to take its turn. So here's that fourth section for you on the drum.
Then we do exactly the same speed, exactly the same tempo, but we play it with threes. What's happened now is we're doing one down stroke, one tap, one up stroke to get the three. And finally we play twos, down, up, down, up, down, up, four lots. Whole exercise ends with a release, we tap it back in, we try it again. So this exercise is developing accents and taps with one hand. What about when we do it with both? Well, the first thing to do is master one hand. I'll do another lesson on how to incorporate that into both hands. Let's try it with a metronome so you understand exactly what's going on. What I would do with a metronome is I would set it to doing 16th notes with no um, accents in there. So it's just a constant bunch of noise like this. And I try my best to hit exactly on top of those notes so they get hidden. One, Okay, sometimes people are going to need you to play that um, at a different height system. So that one we just done was 12 inches down to 3 inches. Sometimes people don't want 12 to 3, they might want 12 to 6. That means going back over the exercise, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, but learning to play it when it bounces all the way back up to 6. So now my exercise would be this. All the way through. What that would allow me to do is eventually then when I'm playing stuff like this is to alternately play this. The way we notate that is it simply has the loud volume and the slash and then the quiet volume or vice versa. So that's accents and taps got some out of this please let me know share it with your friends leave me some comments if you're enjoying these lessons please subscribe and hit that bell notification you'll be the first one to see the lessons thanks for watching i'll see you again next time